Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Blight League. But this isn't an or ordinary episode. This is episode 100. So, I'd like to welcome you guys to episode 100. Uh, today's episode, we did a bunch uh, more of the double corruptions. So, we have to show uh, the body armor double corrupted, the boots double corrupted, and the, and the headhunter double corrupted. Uh, we also, ho I hope you enjoy, uh, this episode. It was, it was quite a lot of fun. Uh, these gambles are intention to make the character even stronger at it, to get a new maximum, to reach higher, uh, depths in the delving. Um, I hope you enjoy this episode and, uh, it's another fucking good one. Uh, I wonder what I'm going to do next league. I level 40 belt versus altar of sacrifice tier 3 a leather belt worms molt that could have been it I just wanted a clip of this uh, I got a tier 3 corruption altar completed with seven incursions remaining what the fuck it is that Kraken Veil with the 50 strength, 12% increased strength, and I put on the 10% of max life as extra energy shield, 5% increased max life, increased max mana, life. We take it off. Oh, I'm I'm naked. I'm nude. Ah, shit. What am I going to do? Okay. Uh, we take all this out. Corruption double. Let's make sure I'm recording. Okay. Poof. Oh! 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 <gasps> Oh, oh shit! It's real. That's real. That gives the casual channeling twenty one uh, a thing. I need to get it back. Oh my god, it's real. Four percent reduced chaos damage taken, dude. First try. My camera. No. Well, the video's still good. Holy shit, man. That's so good. That's so good. And this this gives me options to put other things in the chest plate because plus one. Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. 4% reduced chaos damage taken. So wait. If I re... Oh, I should, re I should chaos res cap again. And I'm, I'll be a god in fucking... Oh my god. Fungal caverns. Where you at, bro? I'm coming. This shit's crazy. Wow. I got a I got a twenty one twenty castle channeling for fifty C. The next one's two and a half X. Okay, I don't know. Now we'll look at this. Point three five seconds. You put it in the chest plate instead of that one. And now it's twenty two. Point three four point three four. I talked about this a long time ago. When I did my other character or whatever, I used a tabula with a plus one or whatever. When I switched out of the Joffreys the first time, maybe it was I, I put on a tabula with a plus one, and then the castle channeling could be twenty two. And you get point oh one seconds off on Dude, it's faster. Bing. Well, I got some lag, but oh my god, it's so fast now. So I would like to go over this chest plate took um, 17 Elva missions. I was at 25 when I started, went to 8, and now we have the double corrupted chest plate. So first try. All right, I just want to again record this. This is another one with six incursions remaining, and I already have the corruption. What the fuck is this luck? Okay, well, we'll see you guys in a bit when I corrupt this that I got for 3x. I did it. I mean, we did it. The location of the temple is now clear. Okay, the tier 3 corruption altar. Since I don't have to worry about anything because I don't have to take anything off. We have these boots. 3x. Near perfect rolls. 18% uh, increased strength. And an enchant. Here we go. Poof. Transform a non-unique amulet into a tier 3 talisman. Here we go. Three rat! Wait. You can't do it to an elder or shaper item? Okay. 
So I'm going to take this and I'm going to craft on. Oh, let's do strength thugs. Okay, and now let's go turn this into a talisman. Okay, here we go. Six percent quant. Okay. So I was doing more uh, stuff and I realized that uh, it's kind of difficult to spawn Alva on quarry and it takes forever sometimes and it's really not good. So what you can do is use a prophecy uh, to add her to your maps. And so, yep, uh, now you'll have GG Alva every map. Uh, <laughs> I bought 69 of these. And, uh, it's time to run some more Alva, boys. Alright. Alright, Locus of Corruption. I have this beast. This beast of a fucking boot. Oh my god. He rolled it so well. He gave it three white sockets. Whoever- Oh man, this guy took care of this boot. He took care of this thing. Okay. Let's go destroy it. Now we're at another tier 3 corruption altar. We have this boot. Regenerate 2% uh, enchant, 28% quality. Per insanely rolled three white sockets. Here we go. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Ha! Ha! Yes! Yes! Woo! All right, Locus of Corruption won some motherfucking gun. I think you got this. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Let's find out, man. Let's find out if I've got it or not. Tier 3 Corruption Altar against the Regenerate 2% Life and 18% Increased Strength Boots. All right, it's time. Uh, we're going to uh, tier three corruption, and we're gonna do our headhunter. Here we go. Here we go. What? Here we go. Holy shit! The feeling I'm having right now. This is a loss. This is a hundred percent a fail. It's a fail. I've I've lost three in a row. Four four it is. Here it is. It's a fourth one. I'm losing the headhunter. And it's okay. Because the chance was insane. I realize it's like the greatest thing I could put, fucking do. If it hit successfully. Okay, here we go. Tier 3. There we go. How you doing, Corruption Altar? Tier 3 Corruption Altar. Here we go, versus my headhunter, 54 strength, 30% increased damage against thing, 53 life. It's disgusting, let's do it. Let's do it. Poof! Oh no! That's a rip. 52, 34! Oh, please don't have a self- Fuck! Oh shit, I have to hit- Oh no! I want to do it though. How do I do it? Whatever, dude. Ah! So, thanks for watching this episode. I want to ask you now. You've you've seen everything, right? You know you know it all. Uh, we we success, succeeded on the chest plates. So now we have the cooler level twenty two castle channeling with the less. Der cool, uh, cool down, yeah, super cool. Uh, we we also did the uh, belt. Goodbye, headhunter. Um, we failed multiple boots. Uh, we have the talisman that I failed. Um, let's see, let's see. Look at this boot, dude. Look at this fucking boot. Do I have more? A lot of them go poof. There's nothing to show for them after, dude. It's so annoying. But uh, damn, what a what a day. We lost a lot. Um, it we grinded out double corruptions just to lose a lot, but we did gain another big item to showcase the build. So now my question to you, 
the viewer, we still have all these Alvas. I could still run more double corruptions. I can fund it because I still have 52 fractured fossils. We also, in this video, made a 35% quality triple golden map. That was uh, because of Jorgen, I believe. Uh, we also, when we were doing the talisman, um, pretty cool. It was a lot of fun doing that too. I didn't know how good the talismans were and I didn't even know that you couldn't do a shaper, uh, whatever. So we already have 12%, so we don't really need to do the, um, the Jorgen talisman thing. This, this talis, this amulet is just good. Uh, I think you could double corrupt this, turn the 16 L attributes into two like crazy ones, like an extra curse and some other shit. And it'd be a really good ami. So, uh, my question to you is, what should I corrupt next? I have four fails in a row. Should I buy another headhunter and corrupt it as my fifth? Or should I corrupt something here? We can corrupt the belt. We can corrupt the ami. We can corrupt the helmet. Um, the rings are kind of a, uh, a waste because that you need it to have one extra socket. Um, and we can corrupt another pair of boots. I've already done like four. Uh, or three or whatever, and I'll do another one, I guess. Uh, I have another pair already ready to go that I just have to go enchant myself. Um, this shit's ridiculous, dude. I <laughs> uh, hope you have enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you learned anything new. If you enjoyed this episode, if you laughed at all, if you enjoyed the pain and suffering uh, that I went through today and enjoyment of, obviously, the chest plate. Um... I'd like to take this opportunity now to thank my Patreon supporters who financially support the channel. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, White Wolf, Trendnix, Steven, and my YouTube members, Garbar, Trendnix, White Wolf, Farkbone, Kerbad, Jun, and the Luch Lamperu. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Hope you enjoyed episode 100.